Today we're going to find out if it's even possible to propel ordinary bamboo skewers at supersonic speeds. 1492, that's a little better. Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flader Mouse. Today we'll be using these bamboo skewers. They are 1 8 of an inch thick and 12 inches long. The goal is to propel these to supersonic speeds. In order to do that, we'll be using this nail gun blank and a fiber wad. Now the challenge is to do this without any modifications to the skewers. So no reinforcing them, no uh, changing the center of gravity, putting metal tips on it or fins on them. No uh, putting springs or wax or whatever else people suggest to do. <laughs> Just shoot them without cheating. Now at a glance, the skewers all look identical, but they certainly are not. I don't think any of them are perfectly straight, but some are straighter than others. We see some external blemishes, which could be potential weak points, but there's probably also internal weak points that we just can't see. I mean, it's freaking bamboo, right? Another variable is just their weight. They vary in weight from 22 grains to about 30 grains. It would make life a lot easier for us if they were all exactly the same weight, but they're not. To make matters worse, the fit inside our 22 barrel is extremely sloppy. That is not gonna help accuracy at all. Now we do have a little bit of control of how much power is actually being imparted on our skewer by placing the wad at varying depths inside the barrel. While we want maximum speed out of the skewers, applying too much power will cause the skewers just to shatter in the barrel. In other words, it's a delicate balancing act. In these test shots, you can see how we're able to control the velocity from around 500 feet per second to almost 1500 feet per second. Now I was kind of surprised we were able to get any kind of chronograph reading with these things, but we did. 1384. 1492, uh, that's a little better. Now this may come as a big surprise to some, but the effective range of a skewer coming out of a 22 is not very far. The skewer more or less flies straight for about three or four feet or close to a meter before it really veers off and becomes unstable. But one of the most amazing parts of this test is somehow we never hit our chronograph and turn it into a kebab. Now let's see what these will actually do to various targets. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Here we go. Now the jug is only about two feet away, but the skewer, you can see, starts turning to the right even before it hits the jug. And when it did impact the jug, it shattered inside of it. I think it's safe to say that using skewers and putting poison on them and trying to shoot monkeys out of trees would be uh, a little difficult with this <laughs> type of setup. Now this wasn't going super fast, this skewer was probably going around 1000 feet per second, but at least the skewer didn't shatter coming out of the barrel. Seriously, who shoots a shoe, baby? <laughs> How about a shoe? Alright, I don't think we're going to get much here. You never know, Greg. It's true, you never know. <laughs> you never know how many eyes you're going to walk away with in this project. Right. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, I saw the stick down range. I did too. Here we go. Well, it's not looking too good for the skewer so far. And in this shot, the skewer shattered in the barrel. I believe this skewer just had a lot of natural weak points in it, and it just couldn't handle that intense shock. Now in this next shot, we tried to set up some big chunks of old ballistic gel and see if we could run these skewers down the middle of them and actually create like shish kebab, right? I'm ready. You have to allow for the Coriolis effect. That's right. Whoa. Okay. Kebab away. Ooh. Now I looked into the future and I envisioned a lot of comments saying, you shot skewers, but you didn't shoot at any uh, meat and make kebab. So we did the next best thing. We shot at chunks of ballistic gel simulating meat. I mean, to get pieces of meat that large would have cost like $200. And people have been outraged and saying, oh, the babies are starving. You got to give them meat. Now, for the most part, this was a failure, but it 
also kind of worked. So it kind of kebobbed them, right? It hit. They are attached right now. I just broke them apart, but yeah, a, a sliver of that thing went into the second one and had them. Okay. So uh, you can see it sheared off into two separate pieces. The lower piece actually went through here. You can see the tip of the upper piece poking through, <laughs> and the lower piece actually st stuck in the second one. Another Joe kebab. Yeah. All right. I don't know what you can do with those, but Ouch. those bells, have you ever seen this before on YouTube? <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Well, persistence finally pays off. We get a full power shot. This thing's going at least 1,200 feet per second. It's flying straight and it was rather accurate. And I also might add that the skewer was definitely strong enough to handle all that force. Now most of the energy caused the skewer to kind of collapse on itself and ended up inside that can. Hey, what happened there? Well, I, I think it, it stayed together that time. Yeah, I think we've got most of the stick in there because it went in, you said it yawed over a little bit and sliced it as it was going in? Yeah, yeah. It's a full on slice in there. And then check this out. Look at Ooh, the back. It okay. Hit, it hit the inside so hard that it bulged. Yeah, it cavitated it. So you've got a little bloody slice right there in the front. Now you probably heard of the legend where uh, during a tornado, the winds are so strong that it's powerful enough to make a piece of straw stick in a telephone pole. Let's test that theory. So Everyone what, believes what it. it. There's no proof that it ever happened, but okay, I'm ready. Now we actually got extremely lucky in this test, simulating the velocities of an F6 tornado. The wad blew out, we lost a lot of power, so the skewer was only going about 340 miles an hour. Now bamboo is a lot stronger than a piece of straw, and it takes a lot of energy to drive something like that into wood, so much that our bamboo skewer was more or less crushed and destroyed in that process. So this pristine piece of straw stuck in a utility pole looks pretty impressive until you notice that it's just wedged inside of a little crack in the wood. It didn't actually penetrate it. Kind of surprising. It, uh, the um, bamboo plowed into the wood. In fact, it's in there pretty damn good. And then the wadding even is stuck in there. Wow. Pretty tight. It's got its own hole. Look at that. Huh. That wasn't there before. Though. Yeah, if you wonder if a, something like a piece of cotton shaped like kind of like a cigarette butt would kill you or not. There you go. I actually can't pull this out with my hand, so we'll have to dig it out. Oh, but wow. It's still in there really tight. I don't know. I think you all know what's going to happen. Yeah, disappointment. There's a, there's a <laughs> bunch of bamboo stuck in there. So. <laughs> What we got next there, Greg? So Clear Ballistics Joe finally felt sorry for Jeff shooting all those cloudy ass blocks and they <laughs> sent him some pretty cool stuff. Did you know that Clear Ballistics Joe made a giant 16 inch gummy bear? I mean, what? Look at that thing. That is a massive gummy bear and only $40 on their website. That's yeah, cool. and it's, and I asked them how long is that sale? It's on sale. They said it was a sale. Okay. It's supposed to last till the end of the year. It's $40. The squirrel is $30. $30 for your Clear Ballistic Squirrel. And thirty-seven dollars for the rabbit. Oh, oh, this is made out of ice. I mean, you could have that at a wedding or something. It looked kind of classy, you know. I don't know what kind of weddings you're going to, Jeff, oh. but a clear ice sculpture rabbit man? at a wedding with a bullet right down the middle of him—that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> so, but, uh, but uh, what's I'm excited about these because they're—I mean, not to very many people ever buy blocks of clear ballistic gel. Yeah. But. These would be fun targets to take your, you know, buy it for your kid or take it, you know, your 4-H kids shoot sure. at these things. Yeah. They could get an appreciation of the power of a bullet. Right. To say, before we shoot one, which is going to be long after the fact, or long before the fact uh, that you type it into the comment section, 
to put down here which one of these you want us to shoot. It doesn't really matter because we're going to shoot <laughs> one of we're these. We're going right to shoot now. the gummy bear. I, I, I'm right. dying to shoot that thing. All right, Jeff's dying to shoot the gummy bear. We're going to sit him up right Wait, there. don't let it fall in the dirt. Yeah. It should, they should have sent you a tarp. Yeah. Maybe a tarp company will sponsor you next. <laughs> okay. You think you can hit it? Um, I'm going to try. Okay. We're 25 yards away. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Right. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look like he's chewing on a straw. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just like in our wood test, the wad blew out again, and we didn't get it full velocity. Still it'd be a little hard to explain to your doctor how you got a giant splinter like that in your skin. A nice bill to see inside the gel. It is that. kind of weird being able to see through clear <laughs> ballistics gel. This guy looks like he was smoking a little chair of root cigar right there. <laughs> Look at that though, it went in uh, three, four inches. Yeah. And splintered. It's all, oh man. It's all splintered and gnarly in there. So. Yeah. Oh, it left some behind. Did it? Yeah, that's a heck of a splinter, though. Yeah, that would be uh, gruesome. Yeah. Stuck in your eye. But that was that was cool. I, I love that bear, man. Yeah. Well, don't love him. We, don't love him too much. Let's I see. don't know where they got the idea of of, okay. a, of clear ballistic gel a bears, but bear, I, I love know. the super size version. Yeah, this is a great size. So uh, if you guys need to pick up something cool like this to shoot your. Uh, Ballistics test. Wouldn't that be a good yards? Father's Day gift? I would, I would love to get something like that for Father's Day or my birthday or something. Big, I mean, just the way bear? I. Bear? Huh? A big clear bear? You yeah, know? yeah. That would be a lot of fun. What's wrong with you? Wouldn't you? How are you not excited about it's that? Good to have lower. And how do you not want to take a big bite out of that thing? Well, you do actually want to take a big bite out of it. Okay, I am ready. Here we go. Oh! oh. Look at that can up. Go. Ooh, look at this. We got another full power supersonic shot. That's some crazy ballistics going on there. And you can see that the wad separated, so those who thought that the wad was acting like a stabilizer, that's probably not the case. Not only did the skewer penetrate the can, the can kind of destroyed the skewer in the process. Just turn it into splinters. Okay, a uh, headshot, you're saying? I don't know. That's let's asking give, a lot from these give it things. Give a try, because come on, if it makes a headshot, this is going to be YouTube gold. Yeah, you're right. I got you. Here's your thumbnail for the next year. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm ready. I think you hit it. I think you hit it. Yeah, so. The skewers were probably one of the most difficult projectiles we've ever tried to get to work. And a lot of it came down to just dumb luck whether or not that particular skewer was strong enough to handle the shock or not. Greg really wants to hit, it, hit her in the face with one of these. Tell you what, this is a redemption shot. Okay. Give me a second to check my focus and everything. Beep, beep. And on Greg's second attempt, everything worked out perfectly. His persistence paid off this time. I knew it was worth coming back to Brittany. It's always worth coming back to Brittany, isn't it, folks? So we we shoved one right through her face. I'm not sure exactly which one of these hit first, but she's got one in it her nose. It was one, it, it kind of collapsed when it hit her and then broke into pieces and stuff. She got one in her nose and in her cheek, and it looks like the nose one went out to the back of her head. Ooh. So she definitely got some wood in her face oh great but that was absolutely worth it i can die a happy man now i know you hit a there's really a doll else. head at you know 50 yards with a skewer yeah 50 yards this is a little bit smaller than a walnut and i shot a dang uh, skewer with uh with some goofy projectiles stuck behind it i really can just pass now and know that i fulfilled every all of my wildest dreams and all of your wildest dreams all in the same shot 
Would you feel uh, comfortable taking uh, skewers into battle? Um, not in a 22. I know some of you wanted to see the lead plate. Sorry, that would have been a, <laughs> that would have been a big party foul out here. But yeah. Nothing. Um, but we hope you liked it. It was something completely goofy and uh, surprised us. Yeah. We didn't know it was going to happen. But I mean, the steel of the tomato sauce can, that was pretty impressive. Yeah. The wood block, the fact that it stuck in that Britney's friggin' face right there. I mean, yep. come on now. Yeah. That's got to be, I mean, that's got to just, that finishes off your day. You can go to bed right now. Because, <laughs> I'm satisfied. Yeah, you're not going to see anything better than this right now. Not even, not even there. Yep. So anyway, we thank you guys for tuning in. It was a goofy one, but what else you got? Yep. World's and, uh, fastest skewers. If you can do them faster, you go do it. <laughs> Film it. Yeah, try and try and shoot those things faster and not get them to disintegrate in the midair. Yeah. Anyway, we thank you guys for stopping by and uh, viewing the show. Give it a thumbs up or don't. Yep. And um, I don't know. Make a comment down in the comment section. Yeah, act like, like an adult this time, okay? <laughs> don't bother telling us all the ways we should have set up the, the, the bamboo skewers. This test was, well, first of all, it's over. We're not going to redo this test. <laughs> no. So everybody who likes to say, next time do it with this, there won't be a next time. This is it. Yeah. 1.0. But um, we wanted to see how bamboo skewers did loaded like this. We know that steel skewers would perform differently. We know that a bamboo skewer with little, uh, little fins on the back like an arrow would perform differently. We got it. Maybe, maybe not. But we wanted to try the pure, this. The pure uh, skewer, you yes. know. None modified, the, not soaked in water or right. oil or wrapped in tape. Or a basic bamboo skewer. 3D like printed. You can, <laughs> well, you can find a bamboo skewer in the grocery store, and you can find the other components in pretty much any store uh, near you, and we won't do, go too much into detail. But we wanted to see how this combination flies, not the perfect design. So yeah, all of the you should have done it this way comments. Yeah, well, we, we shot them. We didn't have the, the ability of hindsight. We just had test, 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 test. No, we didn't even know they were going to work. Yeah. So there goes that. Okay. All right. Till the next time. Can we shut up now? Yeah. We can shut up now. Meow.